Bemidbar, Numbers 23. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven oxen and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had spoken. And Balak and Balaam offered on every altar a bullock and a ram. And Balaam said unto Balak, Stand by your burnt offering, and I will go. Perchance Yahuwah will come to meet me, and whatsoever he shows me, I will tell you. And he went to a high place. And Elohim met Balaam, and he said unto him, I have prepared at seven altars, and I have offered upon every altar a bullock and a ram. And Yahuwah put a word in Balaam's mouth and said, Return unto Balak, and thus you shall speak. And he returned unto him, and lo, he stood by his burnt sacrifice, he and all the princes of Moab. And he took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, has brought me from Aram, out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Yaakov, and come, defy Yasharel. How shall I curse, whom El has not cursed? Or how shall I defy whom Yahuwah has not defied. For from the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I behold him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Yaakov, and the number of Et, the fourth part of Yasharel? Let me die the death of the Yasharim, and let my last end be like his. And Balak said unto Balaam, What have you done unto me? I took you to curse my enemies, and behold, you have blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not, rather, must I not take heed to speak that at which Yahuwah has put in my mouth? And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray you, with me unto another place, from whence you may see them. You shall see but the utmost part of them, and shall not see them all. And curse me them from thence. And he brought him into the field of Sophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. And he said unto Balak, Stand here by your burnt offering, while I meet Yahuwah yonder. And Yahuwah met Balaam, and put a word in his mouth, and said, Go again unto Balak, and say thus. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering, and the princes of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What has Yahuwah spoken? And he took up his parable, and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear. Hearken unto me, you son of Sippor. El is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of Adam that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I have received commandment to bless and he has blessed, and I cannot reverse it.
he has not beheld iniquity in Yaakov, neither has he seen perverseness in Yasharel. Yahua Eloheu is with you, and the shout of a king is among them. El brought them out of Mitzrayim. He has, as it were, the strength of an unicorn. Surely there is no enchantment against Yaakov, neither is there any divination against Yasharel. According to this time, it shall be said of Yaakov and of Yasharel, What has El wrought? Behold, the people shall rise up as a great lion and lift up himself as a young lion. He shall not lie down until he eat of the prey and drink the blood of the slain. And Balak said unto Balaam, Neither curse them at all, nor bless them at all. But Balaam answered and said unto Balak, Told not I you, saying, All that Yahuwah speaks, that I must do? And Balak said unto Balaam, Come, I pray you, I will bring you unto another place. Perchance it will please Elohim that you may curse me them from thence. And Balak brought at Balaam unto the top of Peor, that looks toward Yeshimon. And Balaam said unto Balak, Build me here seven altars, and prepare me here seven bullocks, and seven rams. And Balak did as Balaam had said, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. Chapter 2